Guys, it must be said, Stuff Matters. Specifically, the book called Stuff Matters, exploring the marvelous materials that shape our man-made world. This book is by a professor by the name of, and let's see if I get this right, I'm going to try, Mark Miyadovnik. If that's wrong, I apologize, as I always do. This book is really interesting because it gives me this particular feeling that some things do sometimes. In the previous month, I talked about the book Cosmos, and I mentioned that I was watching that alongside the sort of redone reboot of Cosmos featuring Neil deGrasse Tyson. One of the, actually maybe more than one, of the episodes sort of did this graphical thing where it sort of showed you a world and then drew in certain things like radio waves or pollutants or what have you and how they're invisible but they exist and they're surrounding us and interacting with us, passing through us, that sort of thing. When I saw that segment or segments, I remember it made me look around me differently as if, you know, which obviously wasn't going to happen as if I could suddenly see those things with the naked eye. I love when stuff like that happens. It just makes you at least temporarily slightly more aware and thoughtful about things that otherwise we ignore, take for granted, just don't think about. Stuff Matters managed to do that as a book in a really interesting way. This is a book about how to view the world in materials science in both a, a very lay neophyte introduction to certain types of materials that slowly goes from introduction to example and then on to something a bit more philosophical which i feel like makes this book really really difficult for people to know what to expect when they read it and that will come up later with the criticisms let me give you a list of materials steel paper concrete chocolate yeah, that's right. Chocolate, foam, plastic, glass, graphite, porcelain, and believe it or not, implants. What's really cool is how he presents each chapter with an image. It's a photo of him sitting on the rooftop of his apartment. And that's right. I say apartment. This guy's from the UK and he says flat, please. What is that? Flat is a tire. In each of these chapters, an arrow is drawn to an example of the material that he's going to discuss. The part about graphite, of course, will talk about, it will talk about pencils. Steel, for example, is going to also talk about razor blades that we shave with. And he provides not just this introduction of, hey, this is a material, here's what it is in the basic sense, but also here's some examples of how we actually make use of this material today. How is our glass currently built? What is the difference between glass and shatterproof glass? How does that work? And then just likes to give his own personal philosophical thought about where are we going with this? Where Where is the next place this is going to take us? One of the more permanent examples I mentioned razor blades is I am constantly thinking as a man who has to shave, I'm constantly thinking when I am doing so about exactly how that razor blade is becoming more dull. And I am certainly nobody when it comes to this sort of science, I don't have anything beyond the most floor basic of understanding. But he got me to think about this. And I recommend anybody who picks this up, take a look at the aerogel section. That stuff is nuts. <laughs> 
there's a lot of criticisms about this book, but it seems to mostly fall under the same complaint, the same bubble, which is I think a lot of people pick this up and they wanted a deep dive into each of these materials. And I'm with them in that I think that book would be great if it's out there. I would love it to be recommended to me. But that doesn't make this bad. This wasn't, he's a professor, but he's, he's not lecturing us in this one. He is just talking with us. It's weird that, that I would have two books like this in a row where he is. I feel like Cosmos had Carl Sagan a little bit meandering, just trying to get all of his thoughts out in a focused manner. What I'm getting with Miatovnik here is more of a, we asked him a question about a type of material and he starts telling us, and then he gets new thoughts and he wants to share those with us too. This is a really short read and I, I highly recommend people check it out. Despite the massive frequency of people being upset about the fact that it isn't a hardcore science textbook, it doesn't actually show up in its ratings. As of right now, as I'm looking it up on Amazon, I'm seeing 4.4 out of five with over 3,100 reviews. And then when I go over to Goodreads, there's almost 20,000 reviews of this, 4.11. So you're seeing in all the positive and negative uh, feedback that you're getting for this book, the same complaints, and yet everybody still read it and loved what they got. Time for me to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much and take it easy.